So uh, Persimmon Ridge was originally uh, started by uh, Elmore and Lauren Just. It was really their uh, vision and dream to establish a, a championship caliber golf course that um, you know the everyday golfer could could play. And uh, they uh, really almost gave up on their dream. They were having a hard time finding some property, but. Uh, uh, fortunately, like a lot of things in life, you're thinking about giving up and then uh, something drops in your lap. So, um, you know, when the realtor called and had this acreage out here in Shelby County, um, they came out here and checked it out and absolutely fell in love with it. And so they realized pretty early on that uh, you know, designing a golf course was not something that they were going to be able to do themselves. So they reached out and connected with Arthur Hills. Uh, Arthur came down and uh, just as the Justs really fell in love with the property here. So um, they had a great relationship with Arthur and uh, really worked well with him to uh, design the golf course. And, um, really, uh, you, you know, use what uh, what nature provided out here. Um, Lauren and Elmore were really big into the trees and um, saving some of the really cool, unique trees out here. So um, that was something that, uh, as they went around with Arthur Hills, they, they tried to do. and. Uh, Obviously, with their uh, background with Louisville Golf and Persimmon Golf Clubs, the roots of the game and the uh, basics of golf that were they did just uh, really were founded in, uh, kind of set the set the tone here to, to establish Persimmon Ridge Golf Club. All right, hole number one here at Persimmon Ridge is a pretty straightforward par four. Um, you know, good starting hole, uh, just, you know, get your tee shot in the fairway. And then as you'll come to, to find out um, quickly, Persimmon Ridge is really an approach shot golf course. So the first green uh, has some good undulation and depending on the hole location, um, you know, if the hole's in the front, you want to miss short. If the hole's in the back, you're better off missing long. And, and uh, there's a lot of that around Persimmon Ridge and one gets it started. All right, hole number two is a dog leg left par four. Um, really uh, emphasis on ball striking on hole two. Uh, the tee shot, pretty straightforward, but a, a miss left really gets you trapped out by the trees. And then the approach shot into the green, it's a, a, a three section green with a couple of tiers in it. And so depending on the hole location, um, distance control into the green is really critical. Hole number three, Arthur Hill's signature, split fairway par five, um, with the right fairway really being the more direct route and ultimately the shorter route, um, but it leaves an approach shot, whether it's your second or third shot, coming directly over a large ravine that fronts the green. Uh, it's a very shallow green, um, so precision, uh, again, is key on that approach shot. Hole number four, uh, the first par three, probably the most challenging. Um, pretty decent length, but uh, very undulated green with a nice shelf in it. And so, again, distance control and position coming into that green is really critical. And, uh, you know, distance control on the putting um, up and down the slope is uh, also very important on hole number four. Hole number five is a little bit of a dog, downhill dog legging par four. Um, uh, depending on the hole location can be a good birdie opportunity. Um, the, if the course is running uh, firm, then uh, can usually get it down there and hit a nice little wedge into a, a green with a, a, a lake on the left, but uh, a really good approach shot there usually leaves a good birdie chance. Hole number six is a par four coming back uphill a little bit um, and really challenging tee shot with woods on the right and some really uh, tough bunkers on the left. So getting off the tee there in good position is really critical. From there, it's usually a short iron to a relatively flat green um, and a good birdie chance if you're in the fairway. Hole number seven, uh, pretty straight away, par four, relatively short. Um, again, a good tee shot is, is critical there to be in the fairway. And if you are, you're usually left with a short wedge um, to a, a a green that's down in a little depression um, and uh, usually a good chance for birdie. Hole number eight is a, a slightly downhill and uh, dog legging right par four um, with well bunkered on the right, trees left and uh, a hazard down by the uh, by the green. 
Um, a nicely sectioned green, a good tee shot usually leaves you a short iron or wedge in, but you gotta be really precise on that approach shot to have a birdie, good birdie putt. Hole number nine is the site of one of the most daunting tee shots in the area. A very steeply uphill long par four coming through a shoot of trees with woods left, OB right. Um, very intimidating tee shot. If you're fortunate enough to knock one down the middle, you'll have a short iron um, into the green, um, which is a bit elevated and uh, has some overall slope to it. But uh, generally speaking, um, one of the flatter greens on the course. But uh, you want to stay on the right side of the hole there as well. Hole number 10, one of the shorter par fours on the course. The approach shot plays extremely uphill to a well undulated green and a uh, uh, very precise uh, wedge shot into that green is very important. Hole number 11, uh, relatively generous tee shot um, and then uh, downhill approach from the fairway to the green. Usually got to have a little distance control on that downhill shot. Relatively flat green with a couple shelves, but uh, tendency to go long there and it ends up in a really tough spot over the green. So uh, distance control is key. Hole number 12, a really pretty par three downhill with a lake. Uh, on the left edge of the green, nicely undulated green there. So again, a really good precise approach shot is key to have a nice birdie putt, but uh, bogey's certainly lurking all around on hole 12. Hole number 13, one of the other signature holes at Persimmon Ridge. You see it on the drive in, um, the lake along the left, the entire left side of the fairway um, to a nice, uh, tight necked area at the, at the end of the fairway, the further you go, the tighter it gets. Um, and then the approach shot, the green is well bunkered and obviously also has the lake right along the left side. So number 13 is just one of those spots. You got to hit a couple really good shots. After playing number 13, you need a little break. Number 14 is uh, probably the easiest par three on the course. It's downhill to a relatively receptive green. Um, so a uh, good chance for making birdies if you can hit a good shot. Hole number 15 is a nice dog leg left downhill par five, a really good tee shot there, can really set you up to go for the green in two. Um, but there is a nice creek uh, right in front of the green, so um, you got to make sure you're in good position to do that. Otherwise, a uh, nice generous layup zone and a really good green for a par five with a few different zones. Um, you got to hit a good precise shot in there to have a birdie. Hole number 16 is a shorter par four, but uh, the green really wraps up around the lake. Uh, it's a very challenging green with a nice slope in the middle of it. So depending on the hole location, you really got to be positioned on the proper slot side of the slope to not only have a good birdie putt, but to uh, have a, an easier two putt for par. Hole number 17 is a longer downhill dog leg par four. Uh, really good challenging off the tee and then the approach shot, usually downhill uh, to a, a well undulated green. Just a good tough par four. Hole number 18 is a really great finishing hole. Uh, nice risk reward par five, long par five. Uh, but some of the longer hitters can definitely uh, go for it in two. But there's a nice lake that wraps around the fairway, starting a couple hundred yards out, all the way up to uh, to the green. So the the approach shots, nice narrow landing with water right, bunkers left, uh, can make for an interesting finish with scores anywhere from uh, eagle to bogey. 